For those of you seeking an advanced push-up variation, the Spider-Man push-up is totally for you. Oh my gosh, I love this push-up variation because it's so hard, you feel your side abs really working. So I'm gonna take you through the steps to work up toward this Spider-Man push-up. So um, I'm gonna trust that you know pretty great form for your full form push-up. So I won't go through the basics of that, but just make sure you start in your beautiful aligned push-up plank position. So we're gonna go into our one push-up and then you're gonna bring your knee to your elbow. So you wanna make sure that you have that mobility first and foremost and that core stability in order to really make uh, this position happen because eventually you're going to be bringing that knee to your elbow at the bottom of your push-up. So you really do need to make sure you've got that mobility and that stability. Ability. Um, so definitely practice that variation first and foremost to make sure that you have that on lockdown. So here we go with the full Spider-Man push-up. Again, starting from the top of your push-up plank position. Hands are wider than shoulders width apart. Toes are together. You're lowering yourself down and bringing the knee to the outside of the elbow, trying as hard as you can to keep the hips and the shoulders as square as possible. Um, I find that um, the, let's see, the arm that's opposite of the leg that's moving, right? So if I'm bringing my right knee to my elbow, my left arm tends to be a little closer to my rib cage, almost more like a tricep push-up. You can kind of see that happening here, right? Um, my elbow's hugging a little closer to my rib cage on the way down to kind of allow for a little bit more stability. That's natural, that's totally fine if that's what's happening with your Spider-Man push-up. Guys, these are amazing. They're gonna make you feel so cool in the gym and I can't wait to see you practice these.